Ladies and gentlemen, from Eventide, it is the Tricera Chorus. That's right, it's like three choruses in one box, essentially. Inspired by the great chorus effects of the 1980s, this box gets incredibly thick, rich, deep, lush chorusing and modulation effects. Not only is there three different chorus effects in one box, basically, with individual depth controls, but there's also Eventide's classic pitch detune effect. You heard it on all the guitar parts on the track at the beginning of the video. I used a bunch of presets actually for that song, the first four presets. There was a vibrato style preset in there, a little bit of delay going on because you can actually add uh, like up to 200 milliseconds of delay to the uh, chorus signals. And so that was really cool sound, I thought too. Uh, and then the thing that started out the tune was the classic kind of tri chorus sound with that thick, rich modulation. There's also a swirl effect built in that you can add on top of any sound that gives kind of like almost like a flange type effect basically and you can toggle that on and off with this switch. Of course it's easier if you just hear it so I'm going to play a little more through the pedal, describe what the controls do and I'm also going to solo some of those parts from the track at the beginning of the video outside of the mix. Now for all these sounds what I'm doing is plugging my guitar right into the Tricera chorus and then I'm coming stereo out of it into my recording interface and I'm using two instances of my Sir Brainworks PT100 plugin. So I'm simulating basically running in front of two clean amplifiers uh, that are set identically and hard panned left and right. And that's why you get that great big fat stereo spread. You heard it right at the beginning uh, when I turned on the pedal. So let's get to some sound examples now. It is the Tricera Chorus from Eventide. <laughs> So the Tricera Chorus was inspired by the Ditronic CS5 great rack mount tri-stereo chorus unit to the 1980s that guys like Steve Lukather and Mike Lando made famous on lots of studio recordings. They were able to achieve some incredibly lush, rich stereo modulation effects with those units, and they were just great. But they were rack mounted, they were a little bit more finicky. 
this is awesome because it's in a pedal format and it really captures that sound great. And it actually even does a few more things than those original sort of ultra deluxe expensive rack units uh, did. Like for example, it's got a couple different types of chorus voice in it, as well as a straight up pitch vibrato mode, which is really nice. Uh, so uh, let's just experiment with the, the different types of chorusing in the unit right now. One is called chorus and one is called choral. What's the difference? Well, the chorus mode is a little bit more like a pedal style chorus effect. Still tri-stereo chorus with three separate LFOs going on, incredibly rich chorusing, but it's a little bit more like a traditional pedal sound. So that sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, now I'll go over to choral mode, just by moving the mix control here. Okay, so the choral mode just sounds a little bit richer, a little bit more expensive, a little bit more like a rack effect. It's cool, and it's nice having the variety there. Now these three knobs right here, these control the depth of each of the three different choruses, essentially, in the unit. So if I turn all three of these down, that's gonna make the chorusing go away, and you get this sound. And you might say to yourself, wait a second, isn't there still some mod happening? So I'll turn off the pedal. Yes, there is modulation still happening, and that's because this pedal also has detune in it. Detune is kind of like the eventide micro pitch shift effect, where you're taking the sound and introducing a little bit of detuned signal back into the sound. And that's got its own type of modulation. It's what I call still chorus, because it doesn't have quite the swirl to it, but it definitely still sounds modulated and splits the sound into stereo if you're running a stereo rig like I am right now. So um, if I was to turn this all the way down, that'll bring the mix all the way down and now the sound pretty much dries right up okay so this is going to control the amount of detune and this is like mix of the detune and i can also control the pitch like if i want to get really c6 sounding detune to a greater degree i can do that by pushing the secondary function control here and now i can control the pitch of the detune like how many cents i'm i'm detuning the signal So, lots of control over the detune there with the mount you can detune as well as the mix for that. So that's really cool. So let's bring these controls back up here. I'll bring them up one at a time so you can hear the individual chorus effects coming in, all three. Pretty great. So, you know, it's there's no other way to get this uh, rich and lush of a chorus effect unless you're using a tri-stereo chorus. It's just a really, really cool sound. Uh, let me talk about this swirl switch right here. This is an interesting thing. Um, this basically, if I hold this down, it's gonna take me out of preset mode. Now it's gonna allow me to you know, turn red there. And then I'm gonna push this, it's gonna turn green. That means you're in swirl mode. Swirl mode gives you kind of like, almost like a flanging effect on top of all of this. And that's a, another layer of sound. Also really cool, and sounds good to me actually if I turn the rate down a little bit, so let's do that. Really, really nice. And if I just turn that off for a second, I hit the secondary function switch here. I just wanna show you one of the secondary functions, which is that there's a filter built in here as well that lets you either cut bass or cut top end out of the signal. So if you find the sound is bright or sort of digital sounding or something, you can warm it right up with the filter. You can hear a lot of the high end getting cut down. It's gonna be a point where you maybe go too far and it just starts sounding dark and muffled, but it's nice to have that control so you can really warm up the modulation if you want to.
Okay, and now if I go from center uh, counterclockwise, let's say I was using the neck pickup and I found the sound to be maybe a little bit too dark and wooly. clean it right up by just trimming some of the bass by going basically left of center or counterclockwise. Thanks for watching my video on the Tricera Chorus from Eventide. Terrific sounding chorus pedal. If you want chorus that goes beyond, you know, your standard sort of mono chorus pedal or even most stereo chorus pedals, they just don't achieve the depth and the richness and the huge spatial effect that this thing does. It's obvious uh, if you're listening in stereo, you know, on a good system, you can hear what this thing does. You can check it out further, that link down in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you to more info about this pedal. Thanks to all you guys for watching. Thanks Eventide, and hey, please hit subscribe if you haven't hit the bell beside the subscribe and you'll get an alert when I put out a new video. I'm Pete Thorne, take care, over and out.